Oh, just a little bit of retconning this time. Hey guys, Jeremy here, and this is my review for episode one of season 14 of Supernatural. I'm not going to talk about how I feel that the show shouldn't really still be going, but instead I'll just talk about this episode. The episode starts off with the new Michael Dean thing, and they did not spend a lot of time on it, admittedly, which I actually thought was kind of interesting, because I think that Andrew Dabb has heard, or at least he's seen, just the overall aspect of what happens with each uh oh at the beginning of each season. Everything is solved in the first three episodes, three, four episodes. Demon Dean. Demon Dean was solved in three episodes. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to try and drag out the story so he can make this Michael Dean thing last as long as possible. I have it at five episodes before things are fixed, so it's one down, so we'll see if he can keep that, but I doubt it. The episode is actually not that bad. We've got grizzled Sam with beard now, and those people that they brought back from the alternative universe that disappeared at the conveniently in the last episode of the 13th season are now back. And so is Bobby, and just all this fan fiction crap is still prevalent in Andrew Dabb's writing. So much so that he retcons another thing. Hey, look, the guy who was Lucifer's vessel is a human. And they're like, oh, how am I alive? Well, I guess the Archangel Blade doesn't kill the host. Oh, fucking blow me, Andrew Dabb. God damn, you're a fucking terrible writer. Otherwise, though, admittedly, the episode actually has an interesting pace. I actually like the whole Dean and Michael thing, even though it doesn't really make any sense. He is going around talking to these people, asking them what they want, and he wants to do things right, yet he's basically terrorizing people. Is he, isn't that exactly what he did in the last universe? I don't know. We're seeing a different Michael here. He has defeated Lucifer, he has completed his task, but the world is not destroyed, so he's possibly seeing, oh, well, you know, I can fuck up the Earth again, apparently. But I do like that aspect. I'm interested to see where it goes right up until Andrew Dad ruins it. However, he starts talking to Joe, uh, Jensen Ackles' actual wife. He's talking about, oh, he knows who you are. It's like, how did this motherfucker know who she is? He's from in a different universe! I'm gonna rip on Andrew Dab as much as I can throughout this. He's a fucking awful writer. Anytime that something is proven stupid by him, I will point out, for instance, the King of Hell guy that they bring in, he says he's been trucking around for 600 years, but then he mentions that he rolled around with Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan died 800 years ago. So unless he's talking about him being a human, but usually demons talk about when they're rolling as a demon. So, I don't know, again, just Andrew Debbie. Jack somehow has lost his grace entirely, but that grace mojo stuff is still kind of unexplainable. Castiel, no one really knew what his grace was, so Jack is now in that kind of grace zone, I guess. The action scene that is filmed at the bar is half eh, but half actually not too bad. The editing in it is pretty decent. There's a lot of really good transition cuts between punches and all that other stuff. It's actually really good. I'll give him credit. I think that they on a very limited budget, that scene is not too bad. And then how it ends, too, actually, with Sam kind of laying the laying the, the line in the sand with saying there will be no more King of Hell. So that's an interesting aspect. And then Dean, it looks like at the end, or Michael, is at the end with a vampire? If I'm correct. For some reason, I thought it was a Jefferson Starship, but <laughs> I'm kind of vague on how I'm going to feel for this season. Anytime Andrew Dabb has some fucking shitty writing, though, I'm going to call it out. I'm going to call it out. I'm not going to let that slide anymore, because to be honest, the cheesiness of the last season's ender was, I was a bit lenient on it. But otherwise, not too bad of an episode, not too bad of a starter, just kind of a very bland submission, but again, laying down that foundation with the Michael aspect is going to be interesting. So in the end, I'll just give this episode a 4 out of 7. Eh, it's alright. Kind of okay. Some cheesy writing, there's some okay writing, there's some retconning, that's you know, usual Andrew Dabb shit. So we'll see how the season progresses. I kind of hope that they really do build up to this being the end of the show, because they, like I said, they're just, they've just they run out of ideas. They're just going for fan fiction now. That's all for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, Tell me why in the comments. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys later.